There's a disturbing update to the already disturbing story of the FBI raiding James O'Keefe's apartment since Joe Biden directed his Justice Department to try to find his daughter Ashley's missing diary, which somehow turned up and found its way to Project Veritas just before the 2020 election, but they didn't publish it because they couldn't verify that it was hers. And there's disturbing entries in there about how old Joe did more than just sniff her when she was a kid. After James O'Keefe revealed that two Project Veritas associates had their residences raided in connection with this alleged missing diary investigation, I wondered if it wasn't just a ruse, a sting, in order for the authorities to gain access to their equipment, files, and communications. And what a surprise, just hours after James's apartment was raided and his phone confiscated by the FBI, as evidence of this supposed investigation, the FBI began leaking his personal private communications with his attorneys, to the New York Times, which then published an expose on Project Veritas and the inner workings of the organization. The New York Times expose didn't reveal anything shocking or unusual, just that Project Veritas does the appropriate thing of consulting with their attorneys before and during the courses of their investigations to make sure that they're not breaking the law. For example, one of their attorneys recommended that their undercover journalists who often use pseudonyms in the course of their investigations don't attend any government functions under the pseudonym because then you might technically be lying to government officials. Wow, a real bombshell, New York Times. That might be considered a crime, so the attorney recommended to make sure that the operatives don't do that, just to be careful. In other words, Project Veritas is just doing their due diligence to make sure that they don't do anything that could possibly get them into trouble. Not only did the FBI raid James O'Keefe under the disguise of searching for Ashley Biden's supposed missing diary, that the White House won't comment on, of course, and then leak those emails to the New York Times. But James O'Keefe is actually suing the New York Times for defamation, and that's an ongoing case. So now the New York Times has access to James's personal emails with his attorney, which are protected by attorney-client privilege, about the very case that the New York Times are defendants in. If we weren't in a society that was saturated by fake news and filled with Operation Mockingbird assets, then this would be one of the biggest stories in the country, but of course, in the corporate media, it's crickets. May I remind you that Project Veritas has such high integrity that they didn't publish the story about Ashley Biden's diary because they couldn't verify 100% that it's hers. And may I remind you, nobody has claimed that the excerpts published by nationalfile.com are fake. So it appears that the diary and its contents about creepy old Joe are real. Unlike the Steele dossier, which the mainstream media couldn't get enough of, which we knew was fake then, it was just so salacious it was hard to believe, but now we know it's 100% fake, and the Washington Post finally got around to issuing a retraction. The main source of the disinformation in the Steele dossier, a guy named Igor Danchenko, was recently indicted on five counts of perjury for lying to the FBI in the course of their investigation, into the document. So far, CNN has not issued a retraction, and surprisingly, the Washington Post is calling them out. Does CNN still stand by its reporting on the Steele dossier, they ask? Seems like a lifetime ago because of the pandemic, but we all remember during the first three years of the Trump administration, every single day there was a new Trump-Russia conspiracy theory. Do you believe that the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians in the 2016 campaign? Yes. He colluded, and I don't think that's a hard answer to the question at all. I certainly say with confidence that there is significant evidence of collusion uh, between the campaign and Russia. It's beyond the shadow of a doubt to me. We saw cold, hard evidence of the Trump campaign, indeed the Trump family, eagerly intending to collude possibly with Russia, a hostile foreign power, to influence American elections. <laughs> Those are the days, probably the best time I've ever had in my entire career, but now it's just a broken record about the coronavirus. January 6th! New videos out today are giving a much clearer picture of the horrific events of the January 6th Capitol insurrection. We have some of the videos for you. Now, um, January 6th. Don't get caught thinking that that is just about the past. January 6th is also very much a concern because of what is still going on. Thankfully, despite this year largely sucking, there is still plenty to laugh at at liberals' expense. And I had been waiting for Peter Ducey from Fox News to ask Jen Psaki about the Let's Go Brandon phenomenon to get the official White House response. 
And it wasn't Peter Ducey who asked her, it actually was Peter Alexander from NBC. If I can quickly, across this country, we've seen this new phenomenon lately, chanted at sporting events and on signs. The phrase is, let's go Brandon, a sort of code for a profane slogan attacking President Biden. What does the president make of that? I don't think he spends much time focused on it or thinking about it. He doesn't spend much time thinking about it. <laughs> he doesn't spend much time thinking about anything. And you can tell that Peter Alexander is truly disturbed by this. So we definitely have to keep it up. And to help spread the word, order your Let's Go Brandon shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below or get the embroidered Let's Go Brandon beanie or both or an arrest Dr. Fauci shirt, a liberalism find a care shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out. <laughs>